It is the third week of action here in the MIAA as we are in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, where the River Hawks of Northeastern State host the Pittsburgh State Gorillas. Northeastern State came to this game after losing away at Linden last week, while the Gorillas had a home victory against the University of Central Oklahoma. Northeastern will look to break a five-game losing streak going back to last season. ESU will look forward to the potential of going above the 500 mark. Northeastern State's first drive of the game stalls, forcing them to punt. But Blake Pierce's punt is blocked by Juante Baldwin as the Grills bring the house for their second blocked punt of the year. That would allow the Grills to start with great field position, and they made the most of it as Slade Nordic makes an incredible tiptoe touchdown catch on LePage's throw for the first touchdown of the game. Next drive, Northeastern in their own territory. Pitt State calls a blitz and NSU can't pick it up as Simonua Thomas strips Don McKenzie of the ball. After a wild pile up, it would ultimately be recovered by Marcus Brantley. PSU would convert that fumble into a 28 yard field goal and Pitt State's defense would sack Don McKenzie again to force a punt. However, Pitt State would not be able to add on to their lead as LePage launches it downfield but is intercepted by Devon Sears. Jump to the 11 minute mark of the second quarter. Rakeem Abdul takes the handoff but the ball is forced out by Demetrius Bernard, recovered by Marcus Branley. His second fumble recovery of the day as he takes it 29 yards to the house. 10 minutes to go before the half. Pitt State would move 59 yards for their longest drive so far and it would be capped off by Devontae Brown. Pitt State forced yet another stop and NSU's punt would be blocked again by Jawante Baldwin, recovered by Paul Davis for a 17-yard touchdown. Grill's second blocked punt touchdown of the year. Northeastern needed an answer and they needed it in a hurry if they wanted to get back into the game and they found it as Don McKenzie launches a 75-yard dime to Gary McKnight Jr. for the score. Pitt State managed to drive down the field just before the half and convert a 24-yard field goal by Jared Vincent. 34-7, Gorillas at the half. Both Northeastern State and Pittsburgh State stalled on their first drive, setting up Northeastern State for a 96-yard drive held by Dom McKenzie's 50-yard touchdown pass to Rashawn Eubanks. Eubanks would also receive a 9-yard touchdown pass to complete the drive, 34-14, Gorillas. Ensuing possession, LePage and company trying to answer, but LePage's pass is tipped and caught by sophomore linebacker Lane Yoder. However, Blake Pierce would miss a 26-yard field goal, leaving the Riverhawks with no points after the turnover. And Pittsburgh State would respond after that miss, with LePage throwing a 23-yard touchdown pass to Austin Panko in the corner of the end zone. Northeastern would answer as Don McKenzie connects deep again to McKnight Jr. for 57 yards. McKnight Jr. would be the first Riverhawk since 2011 to have 200 receiving yards in a game. Following a 37-yard Lorenzo West touchdown, Kez Allen hands off to Slade Nordic for the eight yard touchdown run. Austin Penko would return an NSU pump for a touchdown before Kenyon Shurik barges into the end zone to give the Grills 28 unanswered points to finish the game. With the convincing victory over the River Hawks, the Grills move up to two and one on the season and look forward to hosting the Lindenwood Lions under the lights for family day next weekend.